Hi guys, welcome back to Sparky Face 5. Uh, in this video, we're still trying to catch up to all of the things that went on while I was MIA. But uh, I'm back now, so let's get into what happened. Alright, so one of the first things you might notice is that I've had a haircut. Um, I just decided I didn't want all that hair anymore. Uh, I, I've been telling people that I had a cold shower and that it shrunk in the wash. Um, not many have believed me, but uh, I'm still trying. Uh, anyway, on the other note, on the 3D printer side, um, one of the more useful things that I've built recently is a... Uh, it, I have an aquaponics set up. As it was an experimental thing and I've put it together and uh, I ran it with a constant pump and something called a bell siphon. Um, and the original shroud that I was using was simply uh, like a old oh, plastic bottle that I punched holes in. But the problem was the shroud kept moving upwards in the grow media and rocks were coming in underneath and it was affecting the stability of the system. So I went into uh, 123D design and I made this shroud, I'll show a picture of it in a minute, and um, basically it allows a single pipe to come up through the middle and water to come in through the edges and, um, and that's all it needs to do actually, it just prevents the rocks from coming through. Uh, you'll see that I printed it uh, without supports and I did that purely because I was being lazy and I was, I was crossing my fingers hoping it would print at all without supports but it did okay and it's doing the job fine and now it's completely stable so um, win 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 here's some of the footage that I took earlier of of the aquaponic setup with my plants and the siphon so this is the shroud it's in its position already I didn't take any footage of it actually um, putting it in it was a Bit of a hassle because I had to empty out the container of all this grow media. That's the stuff here. Um, any residual water I had to get out of there, undo all the plumbing, and, and then put it all back because uh, yeah. And then um, these strawberry plants that I'm growing in the aquaponics system. It's uh, these these two in particular look like they're pretty close to ready. But yeah, since I put this in, it's, um, it's always, it always works now. I have no problem anymore. It used to be quite unstable. And that's just because uh, rocks used to get up in there, but um, not anymore. So this is printed with um, PLA, just, just blue PLA. I didn't print it with supports, and that's why it's got all those um, sort of funny stringy bits in there. But uh, that's okay, I just didn't feel like picking out the supports from all the holes and I thought, oh, it might be good enough. And um, this is just a, a pipe with a hole down the bottom and that works. It's, it's a siphon. Look it up, it's, it's a magical thing. Bell siphon. No moving parts, just science. Alright, so that works all the time. So another thing that happened was I was commissioned to do a job and uh, with their permission I'm actually able to share this with you. Um, it got me really excited, it was a really simple basic type of design and it just had to go from the top of uh, the fan at the rear of a computer uh, down at an angle onto the graphics card and that's just to direct the airflow lower because uh, that's, what, that's what they wanted. So. Um, what was really exciting about this project is, uh, well it was my first design job, it was my first paid design job, and on top of that I got to use trigonometry in real life. Like, who knew that I would ever have a need for trigonometry in real life? <laughs> it's just one of those things, you learn it and you think, nah, well, you know, I always have a tape measure with me, or I don't think I'll need that, but no, it's true, you do. Um, it's not often in the normal everyday life, but uh, there you go.